Hi guys and welcome back to the Young G.I. Joe Collector. Today I have a very fun one I found. Took him out of a bin. Sorry I didn't include him in the favorite video because I just found them. And we have the Medal of Honor recipient Mitchell Page. A nice G.I. Joe figure. Um, a nice head sculpt. Love that machine gun. And mint and box. As you can see, um, and let's have a look at the artwork, um, a figure from the 1998 series, Classic Collection, second in the series. I hope they get Francis, um, Francis S. Curry soon, so, um, I just want to, I'll get him very soon, so stay tuned for that review, um, very nice figure. Um, I love that artwork of him. He looks very cool. If we turn it to the side, um, we have a picture of the action figure. If we turn it to the back. I have this figure. I have to review him soon. Um, we have the back. We have all the other figures you can get. And sorry for that background noise. Um, and then if you um, turn it around, um, you have the same picture on the other side, and then here, let's get this thing around, and then you have the bottom, and then you go to the top. And I'm mad the tape just came, so I have to retape that, but still mint in box. The equipment list, and let's have a look at it. The equipment list, this figure includes has a helmet, shirt, trousers, leggings, boots, web belt, two sets of ammo pouches, two grenades, canteen with holder, rifle, bannet with sheath, 30 caliber machine gun, dog tags, and metal of honor. So, let's open this up again. And this figure, um, came out in 1998. And this is an interesting read. Mitchell Page was born in 1918. And joined the Marines at the age of 18 and he became a machine gunner in the 7th Regiment of the 1st Infantry Division and later became a lieutenant. So um, pretty interesting story. Um, I love all that detail they put there and I love all the detail in the figure and um, I believe this is the only review of the Mitchell Page with this hair color. I know MIB Master Toy Museum did the review with the different hair color, a more redder, but um I think this was it was supposed to be like this, but they didn't ha change all the hair colors to this, so I'm happy to have this one. So um let's get into review and then we'll talk more about the figure and the history behind him. So, um, let's have a look at the head sculpt. We have the Medal of Honor, rubber band holding that there. Um, two ammo belts, one more in this machine gun, and sorry for the glare. It's so glary. Like, it's so shiny, which is good. We have a bayonet, two grenades, ammo pouch, Springfield rifle with fresh twist ties. More fresh, I like saying fresh twist ties. Dog tags, um, trousers, nice shoes with leggings. And I like how they packed him with um, the leggings under his pants. Um, and it's hard to see. Here, let's, I'm sorry for the glare. It's so hard. But his machine gun is in there. Um, and yet, again, sorry for that background noise. That's my fan. Um, okay, now... Uh, I'm having trouble right now. I can't get the machine gun the show. We have. Let's see if we. What happens if we turn off the light? Okay, yeah, that's dark. Um. So. Again, I'm sorry if you can't see the machine gun, but um. Oh, there we go. And he has a tripod. Don't know if you can see it in there. And he has a tripod and something that goes on the tripod. So it's this guy's basically a set. Um, he weighs a lot. This box 
is weighs a lot, and this figure is loaded with ex with accessories. Um, let's get some more shots here. Okay, now let's close this and have um, a talk. Um, this figure is one of my favorites, uh, Mitchell Page. Um, I got this figure when I was six, and he's been in there ever since. So one of my first shows. Um, I'm kind of mad this faded off. Kind of upset, um, but let's have a talk about him. So Mitchell Page. Um, well, almost all the people were wounded in his platoon, um, or like division, well, not platoon, and um, he shot all the machine guns, like he would run around shooting all of them, taking out the enemy, um, and then all those were destroyed and he picked up one, as you can see in the artwork, and was shooting until like dawn and um very brave and he burnt his hand really bad because that's burning hot that water cooled machine gun that water gets boiling hot so very brave person um he won the congressional medal of honor after for his actions on guadalcanal 19 let's see let's have a look at the year 19 um let's see um 43 or 44, I don't know. It's a long read, but, um, very brave man, again, um, he's just very brave, um, and I'm happy to have him, a very cool figure, and I'm happy to have him, happy he's from the classic collection, um, okay, let's have a final glimpse, final look at the box, And I just love that head sculpt. Love all the stuff he comes with. And a very nice action figure. Um, this guy goes to $30 to $40. Um, I have seen him on a bid for about maybe $20. You can get him for $20. Definitely under, um, under $80. You can find him under $80. So... Usually in the 30s or 40s. So I recommend you pick them up when you see them. This one's mint in box. So if you're looking on eBay or Amazon, this is what you want to look for. Him like this. All mint in box. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, and have a great day. Bye.